In this video, we're gonna tell you seven reasons why you should not get a wolf hybrid dog. This is a unique and interesting breed that has gained popularity in recent years. While they may seem like a fascinating pet and they look incredible, there are some serious cons that come with owning a wolf hybrid dog. So let's explain the seven reasons why this dog is not for you. Con number one, wolf hybrids can be unpredictable. Because they are a cross between a domestic dog and a wild wolf, wolf hybrids can be unpredictable in their behavior. They may have wild instincts that make them difficult to train and control, making them potentially dangerous. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you stay on top of this with strong training and socialization. If you don't do this, this could be an unpredictable dog that you just don't know what's gonna happen. And while they can be controlled, and while they may not be totally unpredictable, there's still a chance and it's something you have to watch closely if you get this dog. The number two reason why a wolf hybrid may not be best for you is because they require a lot of space. Wolf hybrids are larger than most domestic dogs and require a lot of space to run and play. They're used to being outside, this is part of their nature and it's something that they crave. This is a dog that can weigh up to 150 pounds and needs a lot of space to roam and run. They can become anxious and destructive if they don't have enough room to roam. They can't be in an apartment or a small space. It just won't work for this dog. So if you have an apartment, don't get this dog. But if you've got space, areas for them to run, and areas where they won't be bothering other people but have plenty of space to do their own thing, then this dog will thrive. The number three reason why a wolf hybrid may not be best for you is because they require a lot of exercise. On top of having a need for a lot of space, they need to have a lot of exercise. This is a very active breed that requires a lot of exercise to keep them healthy and happy. They may become bored and destructive if they don't get enough exercise. Caesar Milan once said that birds fly, fish swim, and dogs walk. They need to be moving. If you don't have the space or the time to have them exercising and bonding with you, then a wolf hybrid may not be best for you. The number four reason a wolf hybrid may not be best for you is because they are illegal in some states. Because of their unpredictable behavior and potential for danger, wolf hybrids are illegal in some states. Before you consider getting a wolf hybrid, make sure to check the laws in your area to avoid any legal issues. And on top of that, there are plenty of dogs free in shelters right now that need help. So if you want a dog, you can always go to a shelter and get a dog rather than waiting around and checking laws for a wolf hybrid, you can get a free dog at a shelter. The number six reason why a wolf hybrid may not be best for you is because they require special care. They may have different dietary needs and may require different training methods than other dogs, which can be challenging for a novice dog owner. They need to have the best food, the best crates, different equipment. This is a unique dog with special needs and it may not be best for you and your family because of the cost and the resources needed to take care of this dog. The number six reason a wolf hybrid may not be best for you is because they can be a liability because of their unpredictable behavior, these dogs can be seen as a liability by insurance companies and landlords. It may be hard to get a loan, may be hard to get insurance or housing if you have this dog. Some insurance companies may refuse to insure homes with wolf hybrids and some landlords may not allow them in rental properties, so it could be a challenge for you and your family. The number seven reason why a wolf hybrid may not be best for you is because they have health issues. Wolf hybrids have many unique health issues. They may be prone to hip dysplasia, thyroid problems, and other health issues that can be expensive to treat. So if you get this dog, they're gonna be big. They're gonna need special training, special food, and they'll need resources, equipment, things that most dogs just don't need. This is a big, strong dog that needs to be trained properly needs an owner that's a strong leader and has good energy. If this is not the case, or this is your first time owning a dog, a wolf dog or a wolf hybrid may not be best for you. This is an incredibly beautiful dog and can be great for the right owner. 
But if you don't know what you're doing with dogs, this dog may not be best for you and your family. While it may seem like a fascinating pet, it's important to consider the challenge that come with owning this unique breed. If you're considering getting a wolf hybrid, make sure you do your research and understand the responsibility that comes with owning a potentially dangerous and unpredictable animal. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see all of you on the next one.